Hello, welcome back y'all. Today, what I have here is a Firelight ES200X that I'm going to be firmware upgrading in this video. I've noticed from the view count that not a lot of people have liked the longer videos, so I'm going to try to do better at making them shorter and sweeter. So, this is one of my attempts to try and do that. In the future, when I get more install work, I'll, I have another idea of how to make them a little shorter and all that. But anyway, I want to just go ahead and thank you all for watching and on to the video. Okay, it's time for another field work episode. What we're doing today, we're going we're gonna to flash firmware on this guy. First thing to do, make sure your flash drive is in your computer and you got this on it, which is required. And then what you do is you upload from the panel, make sure you got your configuration file. And now we verified that this is all correct here. So you go down to here, eject, pull it out of the of this thing right here. And now we're gonna go Look this guy in here. Now you want to leave this in here until the firmware upgrade is done. Yep, you can see that's active. No. They just went and they started initializing. Yeah, it's just initializing right now. It takes a little bit. They can't put them up until they get that to load in and everything. Okay. Okay, here we go. Menu. Go up to firmware upgrade. Enter all zeros for your password. Can't go too fast with this. This panel's a little slow. All right, and we're just gonna call you. File. Enter. And another thing is you want this to be on the root of your USB drive so that way it'll see it. And then you click yes. And then you just let it update. Leave it alone. After a while it should say firmware upgrade successful. It That doesn't mean it's done yet. It just means that it pulled everything off of the USB drive successfully. In a few minutes, it's going to restart, and then it's going to... That's normal. And now it's going to start doing this. Now this is where it starts to take a little while. Just leave it alone. Leave the flash drive inside the panel. Don't touch anything until it's done. Uh, this is the actual... Yes. This is the actual... Yeah. Alright, I'll get back to y'all when it's done. Okay, firmware update's complete. Here's what we're doing now. We're going to... Here we 
we're going to change each of the passwords to get rid of the password faults. And the role is maintenance, escape, user two, enabled, and then we're gonna enter our admin password. Admin password can be whatever you want. And I just chose a random password and I wrote it down inside of the panel. I set user one to be the maintenance user. And now that's all done. Now, what we got to do is we got to download again because it lost its configuration because we did a firmware upgrade and that also means now we can remove this yes i know all right i'll be right back okay I'm back. Now what we gotta do is we gotta go into our login, users, master, type in our password, all zeros, FS tool up download, accept download. Then we go to upload download, upload download, USB connection settings, auto detect, that's how you check your connection. Connect. And all right, we're done. And that is a panel successfully firmer updated. Okay, see you in the next one. Okay, that's going to be all for this video. If you liked the video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And, of course, as always, have an awesome day.